Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 131 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we're here at Phoenix International Raceway for the running of the Camping World 500. And this is our last race in the second round of the playoffs. And we will see four drivers eliminated from playoff contention today. Leaving only eight drivers to fight off for the championship. So... Buckle yourselves in because this race is going to be huge for a lot of these for all these playoff drivers here today trying to lock themselves into the next round. Starting on the pole today is the 37 of Philip Parker and Steve Morgan the 83 is on the front row as well. Jonathan Fast and Ryan Acosta in row 2. In row 3 we have Alexander Rowe and Philip Goldberg, Ian Canario and Cody Smart in row 4. Josh Crash and James Richardson row 5 and Christian Parker and Patrick Smith round out the top 6 rows in the field. Let's look at our winner. Let's look at the 96 today. Um, the driver of the 96 today is Adam McDowell and he will be starting near in the back. But we'll see if he can make a great um, impression here today. And our winner from Texas was a surprising winner. It was Jared Lewis who starts just behind Crash. Patrick Smith and Christian Parker so he got a good start here today and has a chance to actually win back-to-back -back races he would love to do that after winning Texas last time and really changing up the playoff field as we know it and we know Ryan Acosta is in the next round with that win earlier in Sawmill so he starts third he has a chance to win two of three races in round two maybe get an advantage We'll see. Anyway, Pace Car Comes Down Pit Road is going to be a 32 lap race here at Phoenix, and the green flag will wave here in the Camping World 500. Oh no, Acosta spins and he flips! On the first lap, Rose spins and there's a big pile up. Huge pile up to start the race. Wow, that that just escalated really quickly as Philip Parker retains the lead. Wow, things escalated very quickly. There you see Jonathan Fast taking out the 19 on the first lap of the race. Smart hits him and then they go flying. Look at everybody wrecking. Look at the big number of cars all piled up. Oh man, it was a mess. Some playoff drivers were in there. Smith, Richardson, Acosta, Casey's upside down, Sakali, Lopez spins. My goodness, a mess. A huge mess to start the race. And let's see who retired from it. Oh, wow. Handful. Roy, Acosta, Casey, Dunbar, Bride, Fitzwater. Garner out. Rowe and Richardson are lap down. We're back to green. And look at this. Steve Morgan just took the lead. Steve Morgan just took the lead away from Philip Parker on the restart. And here comes... Christian Parker trying to take the fifth position from Josh Crash. He does. And the 24 car of Ethan Sale goes up in front in the top 10. And another caution's out. Another yellow comes out. I believe it's for. John Andrews. Yep, John Andrews. These two collide each other. Oh, contact. Rowe spins the 31. 95 was hit too. A load, a lot of damage they already have, and it, this is just makes things even worse. Canario thinks about pitting and looks like the leaders. Canari's going to come down pit road, so he's going to come down pit road along with other drivers, but the leaders are going to stay out. 
Steve Morgan will still be your leader with 21 to go at the green flag. And top four are now playoff drivers. Here comes Crash. Crash down low and he gets the position away from Parker. Gets it back and Morgan a little bit of breathing room. Donovan Duthet trying to save a good season. Goes down and he gets position from Hawkins. Oh, Parker nearly in the wall. Crash trying to get by for fourth. Crash gets there. He's in fourth place. Steve Morgan pulls a little bit ahead. Now Philip Goldberg looks slow for second over Philip Parker. The Phillips are both battling for second. Steve Morgan, he's been close so many times in the playoffs. He's been he's been trying to get a win in the playoffs, trying to get himself in the round of eight, maybe even be a championship four contender. Almost halfway here at Phoenix. It's still all about the 83. Everybody's been trying to stay afloat now with all the wrecking that's gone that's gone down um in these past couple races. I mean in these past couple laps. Ooh, Jay Jefferson with a problem. He's he's down way low. He's down way below the apron. I don't know what happened to the five. And Adam McDowell goes by and gets another position. McDowell, by the way, running the 96 today, getting experience as he goes. There will only be three more drivers left that have not driven in a cup, in a Pokemon Cup race this season. And two of them are the female drivers, by the way. Um, yeah, two of them are the female drivers in this, uh, in the X series. So, that'll be a lot, that, that's, in, that's gonna be interesting. So it's going to be the first time, and I believe in a long time, it's going to be the first time in a long time that we are going to have a female driver in this series again. There hasn't been one in this entire season. Um, so we have Lauren Martinez, Harley Sanchez. They're going to run in at Pokemon Cup races their own later this season in the next, in two of the three uh, playoff races coming up here for the series. So only three X drivers will have been left without a without a chance at the cup yet, so they're gonna get their chance later. Oh look at Goldberg, looks low, trying to pass by the 37 of Philip Parker. These two Phillips drivers will probably be battling all the way to the end. But we'll see if these uh will have enough points to advance into the next round. Only we'll we'll only be able to find out right after this race when this race ends and we get all the points all added up. Crash fourth, and now the fifth spot goes to Christian Parker. So the top five are all playoff drivers. Canari runs six, trying to get by Duthit. That way the top six would be playoff drivers. Oh, well, looks like a handful of drivers are coming down. Morgan's coming down too. Steve Morgan comes down pit road under green. Parker still running. Now Parker is now your new leader. John Mendez just got by Matt uh, Yin Canario for second place. Ooh, wow, a little tight. Trying to get the advantage and trying to force Canario up in the wall, and he does. And guess what? Parker's coming down pit road too. That's gonna hand the lead to Mendez. John Mendez leads the race. Mendez was a former playoff driver and he lost and unfortunately um he got knocked out early. Now he's trying to redeem himself by winning here today at Phoenix. Nine, two, no. Eight to go, I should say, and the caution is out. 
The caution flag waves with eight laps to go. This is gonna shake up the field. Um, with drivers pitting under green, this will definitely shake up the field. And we don't know who will lead this race. To be honest with you, I don't know who's gonna lead. Let's look at, let's see how the caution came out. Let's just take a look at that. Well, it just happened right when Philip Parker got on to Pitt Road. And there it is. Ooh, Christian Parker was involved. Here's what happened. Christian Parker, he just got out of Pitt Road. And I don't know what James Richardson was doing, but he got right into the 88. They collided. He hits Cody Smart. And they got turned. Ooh, look at Donovan Duthit trying the best he can to avoid the crash. And Steve Morgan was hit. Steve Morgan was hit. Oh, that's got to hurt for the 83, man. He was one of the leaders out in front most of the day. And then he gets involved in this wreck that should have not happened. Because Parker just slowed up in front of, the, in front of those cars and tried to take himself out. But, yeah, that was strange and bizarre. And Steve Morgan, he's not going to win this race. Wow. Now the leaders come, the ones who didn't come down Pitt Road are coming down Pitt Road at this lap. Everybody's just trying to get back into the swing of things. And it appears that the leader, I'm not sure who it'll be. It's Canario. They're going to say Ying Canario is your new leader. All right, we're back to green with five to go, and lap cars are in front of Ying. This will be interesting. It's almost like the Texas race we had last time, where all the lap cars were in front of the leaders, and it's going to really shape up the field. Four to, oh, Canario's trying to navigate through the lap traffic, and Eric Martinez has just moved up to second place. Three to go at Phoenix. Canario trying to pull away to lock himself into the next round. He had to win in Las Vegas last time in the playoff race to lock himself into the round of 12. Now he has the chance to win again, and this time this would lock him into the round of 8. He'd be the first driver to win two playoff races in the same season if he is able to pull this off. Two to go with Phoenix. Eric Martinez clears all the lap cars, and he's after him. Will Eric Martinez have enough time? Still lap traffic in front of the 21. It could be any. It could anything could happen. As we come to the white flag here at Phoenix, with one lap to go for Ying Canario, can he lock himself into the round of eight? White flag in the air, and we stay green, so no caution this time. Here we go to the final corners. Eric Martinez trying to close in on the 21. And it looks like Canario's gonna hold him off. And Yin Canario, he'll come off the final turn and win another playoff race. And this one will lock him into the round of eight here at Phoenix. Yin Canario has won for the third time in season 31 and his second win in the playoffs. How about that? Canario is again locked into the next round with a win. It's the second time that he's ended the round with a win. And Canario is in the round of eight, for sure. Could he be a Final Four driver? He's looking like he could be one. So, we'll check out and see who will survive in the round of eight. And which four drivers will not make it to the, play make it to the next round. Results on the left of your screen, as always. And Yin Canario is your winner here at Phoenix. And his third win of the season. And he is also locked into the next round of the playoffs with that victory again. So, Yin Canario, he's been dodging bullets left and right. First, he won to get into the round of 12. And now he wins again to get into the round of 8. What an impressive run for the 21. But now, let's show you which Ford will stay alive and fight another day. So here we go, let's look at the four drivers who will be eliminated from playoff contention.
Alrighty guys, here are the points, the playoffs after the um, race at Phoenix for the Cup Series, highlighted in blue. And we know the four drivers are eliminated from playoff contention. Alexander Rowe, James Richardson, Christian Parker, and Patrick Smith. They've all been eliminated from playoff contention. So that leaves Fast, Philip Parker, Acosta, Canario, Morgan, Crash, Goldberg, and Smart to battle for the championship. So um, the margin, by the way, between Smart and Rowe was just two points. Two points. Shows how close the playoffs could be. So everybody's getting another thousand points. It's win or go home now at this point for these guys. Four drivers will make up your championship four heading into Zen Joltis. So let's recap the remaining, uh, the other playoffs uh, from the other series. There you see the field for the truck series on the left. There you see the six drivers moving on. And there you see the X series. There you see the eight drivers moving on in the next round. And in the Pokemon Cup Series, there you see the eight drivers moving on to round three of the Pokemon Cup Series playoffs. So round three is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an all-super speedway round. We're going to have all three series run at Talladega to kick off the, third, the second and third rounds of the playoffs. And then we will have, a dub, we'll have two tracks for the second, um, pl for the second um, playoff race. In the respective rounds, the Trucks and X Series will be running at Pensacola, while the um, Cup Series will be running at Orlando. And finally, before the championship race at Zanjoltis, the Trucks and X Series will run at Armory Digital, while the Cup Series will be running at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And then, of course, the season finale for all three series, where four drivers in each series will battle for the championship. And for bragging rights as well. Ignore that update, please. That's just, I don't know why it's there. But anyway, um, that's the uh, playoff field. The remaining drivers that are in the playoffs here, in their respective series. And uh, this is Pichu London. I'll see you guys next weekend at Talladega.